Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the three basics of screenwriting. So in the past two months, I've been writing a lot. I wrote two short screenplays and two feature screenplays. And throughout these two months of writing, I learned a lot about the art of screenwriting. And today you'll be learning the three basics of every great screenplay. Number one, I want to talk about story structure and how you structure this screenplay. There's so many ways out there, but depending on what you're trying to write, this structure could be different. So for example, if you're writing a short screenplay, it'd be very different than how you would structure a feature screenplay. From my experience in writing shorts and features, I learned that short films are just a snippet of the structure you would find in a feature film. Usually I feel like a lot of short films, the resolution is very quick, it ends really abruptly, whereas the feature has a lot of time to expand and wrap things up. So depending on what you write, you're going to be using different structures. And also everything I say in this video is just advice and experiences that I learned, not rules that you have to follow. So just take everything I say with a grain of salt. So another thing for structure is the famous save the cat structure. This structure you can find online pretty much only applies to feature or maybe pilots. It sometimes could apply to let's say music videos or short films, but usually it doesn't as much. Why is that? Because save the cat structure is very structured. Like there's different page numbers for different beats in a story. Whereas I think a lot of short films don't usually follow this ri very rigid structure. And you know, they probably shouldn't. Retention I think works a little different when it comes to short films and feature films. If you guys want, just look up Save the Cat, put in the amount of pages you have in your script, and then follow it as a guideline. And basically, I think structure is something that a lot of people debate whether you should follow or not. And I think as a beginner filmmaker or a screenwriter, I think it's a very good thing to learn screenwriting because you understand how the structure works. You understand the story elements that keeps your audience hooked the entire time. Besides Save the Cat, I think a l less structured structure would be the story circle. And this is the thing I've been using for my screenplays and short scripts for the last like four years. And story structure is basically how people have been writing stories since thousands of years ago. And Dan Harmon analyzed all these stories and figured out the eight essential elements to a story circle. And you first establish your character, something's missing, right? And then they go to find it and they adapt and then they find it. And then something bad happens and it's like take and then they adapt again and then they like get what they want or learn the lesson. And it's like this full circle. And I think it's a really good way to approach your stories. I think a feature screenplay would basically have four different acts four different circles, and but there's a one big circle of the whole story. And I think short stories, you don't have to use all eight points, but you know, at least using some of them would help guide you to writing a more compelling screenplay. Through this story circle, there's three elements in here that I think every story should have, and is your character needs something, right? There's something missing in their life, and then they get the thing, but then they pay a price for it. And it's kind of like cause and effect, you know, consequences, intention, obstacle. You know, there's a lot of examples in, you know, scenes or different stories. I think it's just like a huge part of life where, you know, you really want something and then you get it and then you realize maybe this wasn't what you wanted or you got it, but then you have to deal with a bigger problem. And I think as long as you have these three elements, I think structurally you have a good story. All right, so the second big thing I want to talk about is characters. And I think in a screenplay, a very important thing to remember when you're writing your scripts is that your character should be very unique. Like if you take your main character out of the story and then put another random guy in, the story won't work. And that's because your main character should be unique. And to achieve this uniqueness, the character should have some kind of flaw. And you know, everyone has their flaws, but I think this flaw is the one that the character is trying to like learn, trying to figure out in the story. And I think that can make the character very relatable to the audience and very interesting to the audience. Because if you have a character that you know does everything right, there's no flaws in his life, then you probably don't really wanna watch that movie. Definitely try to find a flaw for your character. And now I wanna talk about the wants and needs of your character. So want is basically the physical external thing they're trying to get to, right? Let's say Bob, he wants to start a fishing store. But need, that's something that's missing in his life. That's essentially the thing that he 
finds out and learns throughout the story. And need is basically, let's say, Bob, he wants the fish story, right? But he needs to understand that, let's say, you can't just give up because maybe he like jumps from job to job all the time and he needs to stay with one thing and stop quitting when times are hard you know that's just like a stupid example but like you get what i mean right so need is the external element and another thing i want to talk about with character is dialogue dialogue is probably one of the least important thing when it comes to character but it's still very vital to have decent dialogue and to have that i think it comes down to the previous things their flaw you know their beliefs their wants and needs and i think everything they say isn't like what people would say in real life like if you pick up a phone and you say hey what's up how is your day like that's boring for a screenplay unless you write it good i guess that's props to you usually a character everything they say is to get to their goal and it's maybe not the goal of the entire film but it's the goal of the scene it's the goal at the moment Right, so let's say he wants to start a fish store and he goes to get a loan, right? Everything he says to the bank guy is to convince him to give him the loan. And I think that's super important to understand because a lot of times we struggle with writing dialogue because we feel like the words aren't fancy enough, it doesn't sound natural, but as long as what they're saying is getting them closer to the goal, I think that's a you know, good piece of dialogue. It might not sound the best, but that's a good starting point and you want to start there. Number three is conflict. And there's so many ways you can create conflict, but I think conflict is what makes stories so unique. If you don't have a conflict, you don't really have a story, right? To create this kind of conflict, you can have man versus another man. That's very common, right? Good guys, bad guys. There's man versus nature, right? He's trying to survive a storm. There's man versus himself with this internal struggle. And I think this internal struggle should always be in a story, right? I think you're always trying to struggle within yourself. I think that's a big part of everyone's life and this is kind of brings me to the next point which is external versus internal struggle the external conflict would be like the struggle of trying to get what you want and let's say fighting you know doing whatever and then internal is the stuff that happens you know within the character and i think the most important kind of conflict is the philosophical conflict tyler maori talks a lot about this very great youtube channel to learn screenwriting and i think what that is just to summarize it real quick is just having your belief in how life should be lived being challenged by someone else's belief you know for some examples of that is like he believes doing the right thing is important no matter the cost another guy believes you got to protect yourself right so you know it's just two different viewpoints on how life should be lived and i think that's the clash between the characters you know with that is your character should be you know obviously having a conflict with let's say the main bad guy but also the supporting characters the people that help him there should be conflict between them as well it's because they have a different viewpoint in life which challenges his viewpoint in life and everyone is kind of challenging this main character's belief in the world. If you have two characters with the same belief all helping each other, then just make it one character, right? So I think that's how you can craft a compelling story through structure, characters, and conflict. And another thing I want to bring up with screenwriting, I told you guys about how I wrote all these screenplays and how do I do it so fast, right? You just got to keep writing. Like, you know, don't worry about how perfect it is. As long as you make the first draft, you're good, right? Once you get the first draft done, then you start rewriting it. And the rewriting process is a whole nother thing. It's super important though. Just get started, right? I saw a really good quote the other day. It was like, it's better to to feel the pain of writing than the pain of not writing so just go out there and just write and you learn a lot about storytelling through writing so what do you do after you write your script and you finally have the final draft well it's making it come to life right either pitching it to someone to make or making it yourself directing it yourself finding your own crew so if you guys want to see how i turn my final draft of a screenplay into an actual semi-professional short film, then check out this video right here on how I was able to direct my first film in Los Angeles. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.